Hi guys, it's Stacy with Handmade by Stacy J. Today I'm coming at you with a new dishcloth pattern. So this is the Bluebells dishcloth. It uses basically a four by four ribbing and then a cable forefront. So just a very simple cable stitch. And I walk you through all the steps on how to do that. This is lovely because not only is it beautiful in the front, you can reverse it and in the back, it looks really good too. So I have one in blue. I did one in silver as well. If you would like to access the free written pattern, just go to my website at www.handmadebystacyj.com. And before we get started, if you could please like and subscribe, that would be very helpful. Uh, one last thing, if you like the, um, the little bands that we have uh, that show the uh, dishcloth, those are for free on my website as well. It's a free printable for you too. So grab your needle, grab some yarn, and let's get started. Let's go over the materials we need for this project. So I'm using a US size 3 or 3.25 knitting needles. And you can use straight needles if you like. I don't have them in that size, so I'm using my little 14 inch circular knitting needle. You'll also need a tapestry needle, a cable needle. This is optional, but a lockable stitch marker or a scrap piece of yarn is good for marking the front side of your work. A pair of scissors. And then the yarn that I'm using for this project is the King Cole Cotton Smooth DK. Now this is a wonderful, wonderful yarn for dishcloths because it is thinner. It's not a big bulky yarn and it's nice and soft. It works up beautifully. And this is 100% mercerized cotton and there's approximately 218 yards in this ball. Now for this project, we only need about 65 yards. So you could do at least three out of one ball of yarn. So it's also machine washable, which makes it great for a dishcloth. So this is what I'm using and it's in the color silver. Now, if you like the blue one that I made, so there's this one right here. This is done in the color pale blue. For the cast on, we're gonna cast on 46 stitches and you can use whichever cast on method you prefer. But for mine, I'm going to use the long tail cast on method. So I'm gonna cast on 46 stitches and I will meet you at the end of that so that we can begin the first rows. For rows one through four, all we're going to do is knit. So we're creating that basic bottom foundation. So just knit for four rows, and then I'll meet you back for row five. So I've knit those four rows, and now we're ready to begin the rows for the pattern. Before we begin though, I'm gonna use my lockable stitch marker, or if you have a scrap piece of yarn, you could do that. And I'm just gonna mark the front side this way I know what the right side is because this dishcloth is reversible. So it makes it a little bit confusing sometimes because there's not an obvious right or wrong side. We're also going to be needing our cable needle for this row. So for row five, we're going to begin by knitting three. So these first three are your border. So I like to work the borders with the pattern. That way we don't go, have to go back and rework it. Okay, so now we have those three and now we're gonna begin the stitch pattern repeat. So this begins with a cable four front. And this is where you're gonna need your cable needle. And you're gonna slide those first two stitches off purl wise and keeping your yarn in the back. And you're gonna hold it up front and you're gonna knit the next two stitches. So just one and two. Then we're going to put these two stitches back on that left hand needle, or you can knit directly off of the cable needle if you prefer. And then we're going to knit those two. So one and two. Then we're going to purl four. So one and two. Three, four. And that is it for your repeat. So let's do that one more time. So, first cable four front. So, sliding these two stitches off purl wise, hold it at the front, knit the next two. One, two. And we'll slide these stitches back on. And we'll knit those two. One, two, then we're going to purl four. One, two, 
three, four. And you'll continue that pattern repeat until you have only three stitches left. Then you're going to knit those last three for your border. So I will meet you at the end where we're going to knit those three and then we'll begin the next row. Okay, I'm finishing up these last purl stitches. Now we're back to those last three. So we're going to knit. So one, two, three. Then we're going to turn our work and row six is very, very easy. So we're going to start by knitting three. So one, two, three. Okay, now for the pattern repeat, we are simply going to work basically a four by four ribbing. So we're going to knit four. One, two, three, four, and then purl four. One, two, three, four. And that's your pattern repeat for this row. So we'll knit four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to purl four. One, two, three, four. And you continue doing that all the way down your work until you get to the last three stitches and you knit those last three. So I'll meet you at the end of this row so that we can go over row seven. So row seven is a repeat of row six that we just did. So you'll knit those three and then you're going to knit four purl four. And an easy way to remember this is that after you do those first three stitches, you're essentially knitting the knits, you're purling the purls. And you're going to continue this with rows seven, eight, nine, and ten. So repeat row six four more times, doing the knit three, and then you'll knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four. And I'll meet you when we get to row eleven. I repeated row six four more times, and this is what it looks like now with the right side facing. And now with the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to do this cable work where we're going to stagger it. So we're going to start where our pearls are. So these little bells, I, I call them bells, I think they look like little bells, are going to be staggered in between where they are. So let's get started on row 11. Now just like all the other rows, we're going to begin by knitting three. So it's one, two, three. Then we're going to begin by purling four. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to get our cable needle and we're going to do the cable four front. So we're going to take those two stitches, slip them purl wise, hold it at front, and knit the next two. Then take those two stitches off the cable needle, put them back on our left hand needle, and knit those two. So one, two. And then that's it for the repeat. So we'll do it once more. So purl four. One, two, three, four, and then cable four front. So that's one, two, hold it at front, knit the next two stitches. And then knit the two from the cable needle by placing them on the left hand needle. You'll continue with that repeat all the way down till you get to those last three stitches, which you will then knit. And then I'll meet you for row 12. Now row 12 is the same also for rows 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we're going to work this row five times in total. So how we're going to begin it is by knitting three. It's one, two, three. The pattern repeat for this is to purl four, 
One, two, three, four, and then knit four. One, two, three, four. That's the pattern repeat to get across this row. So purl four. One, two, three, four, and then knit four. One, two, three, four. You'll notice that it begins kind of a similar pattern as the last one, where when you see the pearls, you're going to purl the pearls. The knits, you're going to knit. So you'll continue in that repeat to get to the very end where you'll knit those three. Then repeat that row four more times and I'll meet you at the end of that repeat. I've worked row 12 a total of five times. So to continue with the body of the washcloth, you'll just repeat rows five through 16 for a total of three more times. So I'm going to do the repeat and I will meet you at the end of that so that way we can work on the end of the washcloth. I've repeated rows 5 through 16 three more times, and this is how the dishcloth is looking. And it's really neat because it really is reversible. Like when you flip to the other side, you can see that it has a very similar pattern. So um, to continue, we're, we need to repeat row 5 once more. So I'm going to repeat row 5, and I'll meet you right back here. Now that we've repeated row 5, we're ready for those last ending rows. And the reason why we did row five is because it gives you a more consistent border. Whereas this one down here starts with that cabling and this one up here is going to end with that cable right before the knit rows. So we're going to knit three rows and then bind off knitwise. So I'm going to do those three rows. I'll bind off and I'll be right back. So I have this all bound off and I blocked it. So it measures eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And I do think it's interesting because when you flip it over, it truly is reversible. So it's really fun, really easy. And just a quick mention, if you go on the website, I do have little dishcloth wrappers. So you just print them out, cut them out, and give them a little fold, secure it with some tape. And then it's perfect for giving as a gift. I do hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe, give it a like, and I will see you later with more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.